What's up fellas? Welcome to the garage. As you can see, we got ourselves an engine. This one is going to be uh, going into our Sierra Coupe. It's a 2.9 liter Cologne engine made in Germany. It has been used in uh, older cars. This uh, base is very, very old. It has been in use uh, since 1960s in older Fords like Caprice and uh, Granadas and similar. Uh, but this one is from Sierra XR 4x4. Uh, as you can see, it's made it to um, the all-wheel drive gearbox, which we won't be using, at least not for this project. We'll be replacing it with a standard V6 uh, rear-wheel drive transmission for, uh, for a time of testing. The engine in factory form produces around 150 horsepower and lots of torque. It's a rather big capacity engine for this power output, so it should be like uh, it should make for a good power delivery, at least for testing. So in this video, we'll be just overhauling the engine uh, from the outside, if you will. We'll be doing some visual inspection, uh, then we'll try to turn turn it over, then crank it over with the starter, measure the compression on all cylinders and whether it needs a rebuild or will be just fine like it is. De Pedro, no, please don't. De Pedro. I've been told when I bought it that the engine was working flawlessly the last time it ran, but you know how that goes. We'll go step by step. First, we'll have some uh, visual inspection, an overview of the engine. We'll see what we got. And next up, we'll try to crank it up with the help of the starter. And uh, at the same time, so we'll measure whether or not this engine produces oil pressure. Of course, before that, I already checked the engine is full of oil, so that's a real good sign. There is no signs of, um, of moisture or anything, which would be shown right here in the venting cap so yeah let's get it started well oil pressure sensor is nothing but a normally closed pressure switch which when the pressure exceeds certain value normally is around half bar it opens so when when uh, oil pressure exceeds uh, the certain threshold this switch opens and this is not anymore connected to the ground. So when we connect our oil pressure warning light on the one hand to plus and on the other end to our pressure sensor there, the warning light shines up. But when the pressure builds up and exceeds the certain value, this switch will open and disconnect our circuit. Let's try that. Nothing. We may have a faulty sensor. Try again. Here. So, as you can see, once the pressure fell down, our light is back again. As the engine has been sitting, it takes some time to oil pump, to pump the oil through all the oil galleries and all the passages in the engine. So now, in the second try, it should, um, it should go off sooner. There we go. So that's oil pressure verified. All right, so there we have it. Our engine does in fact spin freely. The starter works flawlessly. We even got some oil pressure. So those are really good signs. I am fairly confident that this is in fact a healthy engine. 
so next up we'll be measuring compression to really verify the condition of this engine. And that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Be good!